Okay, so we are in the middle of a haboob. I can, I can see Idaho highlights in like from like the nuts. And well, can't up? No, see really anything. Up. Nope, sure can't because of that. <laughs> Looks like something out of a movie. A monsoon storm kicking up massive walls of dust across Arizona. The blowing dust grounded flights in Phoenix last night, knocked out power to thousands. Meteorologist Morel Ruiz joins us now to break down how this kind of storm forms. You heard her mention that word haboob in uh -huh. her video. Yeah, I had never heard that word before until I was doing a story about Arizona. Right, and that's actually a legit term for dust storms, and it actually has an Arabic root meaning strong winds, which is what causes this wall of dust or this massive dust storm. So how do they form exactly? First and foremost, you need the correct terrain, which is dry, dusty terrain, which, yeah, you see it in Arizona. You also need a nearby thunderstorm. In this case, they have monsoonal rains right now, meaning that they have those strong storms. So whenever you have a really sharp temperature contrast, meaning a very high temperature, somewhere like Phoenix, and then you have rain cooled air in a thunderstorm. You create these really strong outflows. So a strong rain cooled outflow is necessary. And once that outflow hits the ground, it really helps pick up a lot of this dust. And that's what creates a wall of dust. We often see this in the form of roll clouds, but we don't have the dust necessary for these dust storms. Now this causes, of course, the hazardous driving with limited visibility like you saw in the video there. It also can cause mechanical issues for airplanes, which is why there was a ground stop for quite amount, an amount of time. It's not just because of lowered visibility, but think of all the dust that can get trapped in the, in, uh, the engines. And this unfortunately can cause breathing and health issues because it lowers air quality. Think of how much dust uh, gets pushed into the air. Here in North Texas, we see that Saharan dust, which isn't like a wall of you know, dust and we still see some allergy reactions to it. So imagine areas like Arizona. Now the good news with there is that the winds were on the higher side and they saw rain right after. So that helps settle a lot of that dust, Kara. So the impacts hopefully don't go on for too much longer. No, but thanks for the clarification too. Really interesting insight.